Hey everyone, Jason from Grip Tape. It is still winter here in New Zealand, so I am wearing a big comfy sweatshirt because that warms my heart. And hopefully this will warm your heart. I want to show you some new things that we've added recently to make it easier for you to save default configurations for your agents with your Grip Tape Comfy UI nodes. As you know, with Grip Tape Comfy UI, you can create an agent and you can run that agent. And the default configuration for that agent is to use OpenAI's GPT-4.0. As you can see here, I've created an agent. I run it, I ask it the model, and it says, hi, I'm using GPT-4.0. That's fantastic. There are other configurations you can use though. In fact, we have six nodes that are available to you to change your configurations. You've got your OpenAI one where you can choose different GPT models. You got Amazon Bedrock. You have Google, you've got Anthropic, you have Olama, and you have LM Studio. All of these can be used by simply connecting them to a create agent node. So here you can see I've connected Anthropic where I've got my Claude 3.5 Sonnet uh, configuration. That's connected to an agent. And when I run that, it says I am an assistant created by Anthropic called Claude. So if you ever wanna use a different model other than the default, all you do is create an agent, connect it like this, and then you can use it. And if you want to use that agent for other things like runs and image querying and things like that, all you do is take that output from that agent and you connect it to another agent. And you say, for example, here we go. We say, well, that's lovely, isn't it? Tell me all the wonderful things about your model. And if I run that, it can tell me some information about the model specifically. So you've been probably working this way and it's been fine. One of the things I noticed is that it can be really inconvenient to have to do this every single time you want to use a model other than the default. For example, if I don't have an API key for uh, GPT-40 and I always want to use Anthropic, having to create the configuration, create the agent, and then always connect it in order to use that model can be a little bit frustrating. So there is a new node that we've added, which allows you to create a default agent configuration. I'm gonna go ahead and clear my screen and I will show you how that works. So if you go right mouse button, add node, grip tape, and go over to agent, you'll notice there is a grip tape set default agent node. At the moment, this has a configuration input and that is it. And what we'll do is we'll go and we'll say, let's grab the anthropic agent and I will go ahead and just connect those two. And if I run this, what it's gonna do, it'll look at whatever connection is here and it'll basically write that out as the default. So now, let me go ahead and clear the screen again. I will create a brand new grip tape agent. I go agent, just run. So a basic one here. Uh, let's go ahead and display the output. Display some text. And I'll say, what model are you? Run that and you will see it is Anthropic. So no longer is it going to be uh, GPT-4.0. It is now gonna be Anthropic. Every time I run an agent, it will be that one until I go ahead and create a new one. So I can say grip tape, agent, set the default agent. Let's go ahead and grab another configuration. Let's say we'll use Olama. I could set that one to be the default. I run this, clear the screen, run an agent, display the text and just say, what model are you? And the result is that it says it's a language model. And that's because the model that we're actually using from Olama, let's check out and see which one it is. We'll go add node, grip tape, configs, Olama. And the default here is uh, Lava 3. So it doesn't know much about itself, but again, we could switch to any of the other models and it might know a little bit more. So what's actually happening under the hood? Well, to demonstrate, let's jump back over to Visual Studio Code. Let's take a look at where I installed Comfy UI and the grip tape nodes. So if I open up my Comfy UI folder and I go down to custom nodes, you'll see there's the Comfy UI grip tape folder right in here. If I open that up, you will see there is a grip tape underscore config.json file. This is the file that contains normally all of your uh, API keys, which is sitting in the environment folder right there. Uh, and by default, this area right here is blank, where it's just the environment variables. Once you run that set default configuration node, it will add some agent configuration information for you based off of whatever you have connected to it. Let's take a look at another example. I'm gonna clear the screen. We'll go to add node grip tape agent, set the default agent. And again, let's choose Anthropic. And I will go ahead and connect these two and run it. And once it runs, 
you will see that the file updates and it says the configuration is Anthropic Structure Config and it has information about the image generation driver, which at the moment Anthropic doesn't have one in there. Uh, it's got the prompt driver, which is what we're using right now for all of the chat prompting, embedding drivers, etc. So that is how we can go ahead and set up our defaults for configurations. And then this will be saved in your preferences. And every time you create an agent afterwards, it will use that default. If you want to get rid of that and go back to the default that comes with grip tape, simply go to this configuration file, the grip tape underscore config dot JSON, select these, this information here, delete it, save your file, and then go ahead and just create grip tape node. So we'll go agent run agent, display the text, what model are you? And you'll see that it is based off of OpenAI's GPT-4. This is relatively new functionality, so please definitely leave us some feedback and comments below. Let me know what you think and have a fantastic afternoon. Thanks very much.